today we're going to do the wonderful and noble task of telling you why these are a giant waste of your time. So we're going to start out with the Reliant series. Now, uh, just know a few things about these ships. Number one, there are a bunch of people who love them, okay? So we're just going to make that clear to everyone, all right? So there are four ships. There's the Core, the Mako, the Sen, and the Tana, all right? Tana is probably the most notable to people because it is a, a versatile fighter, easy to maintain with a rugged construction. The Reliant Tana makes for an ideal choice for frontier and outpost defense thanks to its custom high yield power plant, stronger shields, and addition, additional weapon mounts. The Sen is a versatile single ship explorer and science platform intended to be outfitted with long range capabilities and advanced sensor suite. It is intended to function both alone or as part of a fleet of a MISC Endeavor. Which again, isn't quite out yet, but that's the idea here. Despite the intent of the ship's design, the current in-game fuel tanks and sensor array are both typical for ships of the Sen's size class. The MISC Reliant Mako is a news van variant of the Reliant. It combines the flexibility of the Reliant flame frame with the state-of-the-art image enhancement suite and turret-mounted optics. The need for the reporting variant was identified after a review of Spectrum broadcasts that revealed the low-quality video of combat incidents as well as an increase of such, inc of such incidents. I, I don't even know what to say about that. The Reliant Core is the base model of the Reliant series and is a mini hauler with additional speed and dogfighting capabilities not found in a dedicated freighter ship. It is specifically designed as a multi-purpose ship that ha and has a larger carrying capacity than many ships in its class. That's very much debatable. The core has six SCU of cargo space. The Mako and the Sens both have zero. And the Tana has one. Tana has 250KU of SCU storage. I think that's true for all of them. Nope, the core has 6,000. So 6,000 comes with a lot more space. War Bond is 60, Standalone is 65. Then the Mako is 85 War Bond, Standalone 95. The Sen is 75 War Bond, War Bond 85 Standalone. And the Tana is 65 War Bond, 75 Standalone. And now the most maneuverable ship in the verse, but not the least either. I love how the little like boot opens up. It just has a very special feel to it. And the cargo space is quite nice. That's trippy as balls. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, you miss out on some more state-of-the-art features with this, or you're not getting a bed more than anything else. And I love how they're just like access points so it wouldn't surprise me if the reliant series got a rework uh alongside the odyssey especially oh now it's letting me in this is my time this is my chance all right now we're on There we go. I do love MISC MFDs. You're seeing two M3As, four Badgers. For whatever reason, it's like totally. Totally weird to steer right now. It's like I've. Oh, it's because I'm, uh. It's still landed in the hangar and it hasn't like flipped up or rotated. So it's all backwards because the ship spins and gimbals as you launch. So anyway, but this is gonna control your four badgers. And so you get like a legit kind of turret with this. Which gives you decent visibility. Um, I do like remote turrets especially for that. Alright, now you 
let's see, after we lift off, gives you kind of that beautiful sight lines. We'll go ahead and scroll up on the doors here. Just get those shut. And as I've talked about this ship before, it reminds me a lot of the Star Wars B-Wing. We're going to go ahead and retract the landing gear. We'll hit Alt-K to go ahead and enter that alternate firing mode for the Tana. You can see the fuel rod uh, where you can get refueled right there at the front. But really, really cool. Again, on okay, you have to press left alt. I made to kind of maneuver like this. I really do want to like fly around and be able to like get pulled at, so I can kind of like steer it around places. Still, I knew the chip was bugged to be fair, but gotta get our footage anyway. You can see the remote turret is actually the uh, blasters on the wings. Two the on the tips, the two on the underneath the wings are are not Jiminy Christmas. Behold the Reliant Tana with its penis fuel rod. You have seen it now. It exists as a ship. Those four missiles, then we'll check out where the other, like, Reliant missile tube pod is. I do love how, like, the bubble is shaped. It just... Can we please make... Bubbles like that on other ships? I just... Like, it really is a cool... It's a cool ship with a cool design and cool functionality. Okay, so anyway, you're getting two beds here. Everything else is the same. You're just giving up... Uh, you're just giving up access to storage area here by adding all these other kind of creature comforts. Personally, if you could, like, have the beds take up one or maybe two and get rid of everything else, then I'm more down, but... Otherwise, kind of garbage. Let's check VTOLs is a thing with the Tana. Uh, it gets a little weirder when you... Swing everything around, but you can see the weapons here just firmly rooted on the ends instead of having those like... Uh, Track landing gear. There we go. Watch it flare out a bit. Need some boost here. Just get outside of the safety zone. It is very fun. Watch the ship shoot. We'll go ahead and dumb fire a missile here. I think it's coming from that little kind of 
Oh. Yeah, that's a cool little system. It's a rad little ship. Now, if you could trim this down 50% the size and just chop off the butt, you'd be talking about a ship that might be worth flying, right? I mean, being able to like swivel and swing around could actually be a thing that people will try to do. Oh, you can rotate it while in mid. Light, man. That is that is cool. I'm not gonna lie. I almost pressed it again. I will affect quantum. Looks pretty rad on this. Certainly from the outside, from inside the cockpit as well. Those all come out, so they shoot one at a time out of there. Maneuverability is not the worst I've ever had. Sight lines are cool. It's an intriguing ship. But I think you should buy one, absolutely not. Get yourself an Avenger Titan. Way more damage, just as much cargo capacity as the core. And let me actually even check how much health it has compared. Quantum travel complete. Doo -doo -doo. You're gonna get twenty five hundred nose, fifteen hundred canopy, twenty five hundred body. Wings and wingtips are a lot less, though. So you actually are getting a lot more durability out of the other one in terms of ship parts. In terms of hull, 11,900 versus 14,000. So, you know, getting more health out of the Tana. But the titan gets eight scu of cargo instead of one standalone is sixty dollars um and it is technically 50 percent damage reduction instead of 52 percent damage reduction but the profile is just so much smaller it's 20 by 15 by six and a half versus 14 by 28 by four and a half so i mean i guess it's the narrower profile, if as long as you just are hitting people head on, is slightly better. But not a lot. Not a lot better. Toll on the Nomad's only 9,800, by the way. Um, body is 4,000, nose is 4,000. So your stabilizers and your wings are 200 and 500, so. Don't, don't lose too much sleep on those ones. Anyway, hope all of you have a good night tonight. I'm going to go to sleep. Until next time, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.